Hello oh, angels, it's very natural. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't taken the time to hit that notification bell so you won't miss none of these videos. I upload every week on Wednesday. Okay, let's hop right into this vibe. It came from the vendor on Amazon called Ally Glossy in this nice little bag with some lashes, a wig cap, and some literature slash coupons that I can't find right now. So this is a 10 inch. It's marketed as virgin hair. It did not say it was pre-plucked or anything like that. So I definitely went in and bleached the knots. I have a little insert for you all. Okay, so this is the lace after my first install. I was not able to bleach the knots, but I definitely need to. Because you can see the dots all up in here. I attempted to cut baby hairs. Okay, y'all. So this is the hairline after the going in and plucking. So I left enough hair to like cover the tracks but I really wanted to like expose some more lace because you get like not even I want to say like a centimeter of hairline here so that's why when I said this lace is bad it's just not enough to really work with so I left like minimum hair on it I might even go in and pluck some more but I just wanted to show y'all before I bleach it what am I what I'm doing so I'm just trying to make sure I'm covering the tracks and exposing as much lace as possible to get a natural finish please don't mind my mannequin she an OG I got a new one coming <laughs> this is OG mannequin head so don't talk about her but yeah just wanted to show y'all before I put it on my head I mean for $50 it kind of makes sense to me I have to do so much work and the vendor was so nice that I am just willing to do a reinstall for the first time. I literally just threw this on my hair, first um, the hair in front of my hairline to cover up all the knots and all the unplugging that I did not do and I was fine. Honestly, it's the pictures that I used in the thumbnail. So for the second install, I wanted to do a little more like add baby hair and please do not spray you off. And the next thing I want to do is add a little bit of pressing powder onto this hairline. I'll let y'all see this T part here. Very minimal indeed. Which is not a bad thing. The less work that I have to do, the less products I have to use. So, just gonna put the pressing powder on it. This is the guys to be on here because this I feel like um, adhesive spray it has adhesive in it. Somebody told me guys to be has adhesive in it, but I feel like this is definitely will take your baby hairs out with this. So I put guys to be in the pressure powder onto the lace, and then I'm going in with this Wonder Lace Bond to make the 
away. No, it's my scalp. This is the second time I'm recording for this video, so I must watch this because first time the video was so blurry and just. Oh, I'm giving it a second chance. Here's the second chance. Okay, you do have four combs on here, two on the side, one in the back, one in the middle. Honestly, I only use the one in the back. You can all rely on the spray to pretty much secure the wig. That's why I like this spray so much better than Gossip. It does a little more for me. I was not playing with the, pl the pluck end of this wig this time around, and um, I definitely think you can see that. <laughs> so I will be laying baby hairs to kind of distract from this lace because it's giving lace. off camera because I'm sure y'all know how to use y'all flat iron so I'll be back I'm giving this all to you all in real time except for the flat iron so be back okay, so this is the hair straight in it's a really nice hair on this wig so don't get me wrong I'm kind of upset on how they threw this hair on this hairline. But other than that, it's really, really nice hair. So, I'm 
mad about that. I just had to move this hairline back a little bit because I like my hair to look how my hair would look if I was to straighten my hair. And it was just too full, too quickly up on this wig. I'm gonna try to do what I be seeing people do with Curly's baby hair. So I don't know, I don't got no tiny flat iron. So. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know. I don't think it's really necessary. Because I really do. Kind of all the baby here. It was on this week. I really just do that little scoop in the front. And then. Get up the rest. And then I'm going to do it. And I'm probably the only one still using the girl's mind. It's not my hair, so. Let the Lord judge me. Please. Just let the Lord judge me. And I got a whole lot of what's still left. So, what y'all use on y'all edges? Leave it in the comments. What y'all use on y'all edges? How wig edges is there a difference for y'all? Honestly, my edges don't really lay. My natural edges don't really lay. I don't, don't get into that. So, the only time I'm doing baby hairs is probably gonna be on a wig. So, it's not this because my hair don't move. I use it. My wig hair don't move. Okay. Yeah, this is just a little bit to divert from the lace. It's not the best lace, y'all. It's the dumb lace. A darker foundation to give it a better tint. Give it a little chestnut and I'm a little mocha brown right now. Um, that's fine. It looks, it looks fair. So like so this hair is like everything. So I'm not mad at it. Definitely, definitely like the wig. And I'm going to go in with some concealer to kind of um, top it off. Definitely a nice everyday. Going to work. Hey y'all, bye y'all. Kind of wig. <laughs> I did wear it out the other day. Like I said, I literally just threw it on. I wish I had the video for y'all. Because it did what it was. It, it was fine. I had to, the hair like pulled forward a lot more because I didn't want to. I didn't want to pull it not out like that. So it's definitely, definitely giving a different feel. Now that I'm able to work with the lace a little bit more.
the blessed person you could be. Live your blessed life and things. Okay. Be blessed.